Hey everybody, uh, fair warning, I'm gonna do some name dropping. Uh, I'm looking at comics right now. I have uh, some Naruto going on on my computer that, off screen that you can't see. Uh, shout out to Trev. See, first name drop, boom, Trev the Shipping Crew. He's amazing, he's amazing, he's amazing. Um, trying to get caught up, I still haven't gotten through like the first Naruto to get to the Baruto and I don't know. There's like a thousand episodes. It's nuts, but they're short. There's a, anyway, I'm not going to get into it. Um, Joe at Anachronic Comics, name drop, sent me some books uh, quite a while ago and it was, it was awesome. It, really some beautiful books some really nice. It was so generous of him to do it. And in on the back of the books, um, he had labels and, what the book was, um, the artist, and some some facts about it. And I was like, man, why have I never done that? That's so cool. And sorry, I was adjusting my adjusting my chair. Um, I need to do that someday because I think it's really cool. And you know, there's there are channels like Brian's LCS, try, uh, who talks about a little bit of spec. There's a bunch of spec channels, and I've never been really into the specking. I don't pay attention to it. Um, and I think maybe it's just, it's too much work for me. Like I just pick up books that I like, like I like the cover or I like this story. Um, or sometimes I'll see somebody and they're like, Oh, this book is amazing. And I'm like, well, let me run down to my LCS and pick it up and then I'll check it out. And I, that's how I, that's how I get books. Um, and so what I, what I've been doing a little bit is I have enough space for, 12 short boxes in here and I'm overflowing overflowing out of the, the 12 and so I really need to figure out what I'm going to do about that so either I have to make more space for more boxes which I'll have to purchase um, or I need to thin out what I have and so what I think it's going to happen is it's going to be a little bit of both uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a big uh, like just a big bundle of books that I'm gonna make super cheap and then sell on Facebook Marketplace because I just want them to go. I just need the space. Um, and then I'll probably clear out some space and get a couple of boxes. Right now I have 12, not enough. Um, but in the process of figuring out what to thin out, um, I thought, man, I should just go ahead and do, do really do organization like Joe because I think it's awesome. Um, Plus, I was watching uh, 22 comics yesterday, and he does his, his top 10. And, oh, sorry, bah, name drop. And I'm like, I never have any of these books, like ever. And I'm like, man, maybe I do have some of these books, and I don't even realize it. And so, he's because, you know, you, you put, hey, I don't have any of those, or I don't have any of these alternatives. Uh, and then some people are like, I got seven of them. I'm like, man, how? How do you have so many? Uh, so I'm like, maybe, maybe I do have some, and I just don't know about it. Um, so what I thought I would do is go through and not just keep my spec books or keys. Uh, that's another thing like a uh, key collector. Uh, I've, I've seen Brian LCS use before. Um, it's not something that I've used frequently, but I am now using it on this project. So, uh, pretty much I've only just used my CLZ app, which I love for logging and organizing, organizing. Um, and before I redid my office, I had a ton of small shelves on the other side of my desk and it was alphabetical. All of my books were in alphabetical order. Um, nerd. nerd. I was like, man, I want my books to be like a library. Like, so if I need to find something, I know where to find it. I mean, I had labels. <laughs> I have problems. But anyway, so right now I'm working on uh, three boxes right now. Um, I pulled out my Silver Age because I need to get new bags and boards because it's old, old stuff. Um, I'm probably going to keep on my Silver Age stuff, I imagine. Uh, but right now I have new bags and boards for my modern stuff. And I thought I would show you some of the stuff that I'm keeping so far. I've already made um, a box, actually two boxes. Uh, it's a, about 100, 100 uh, books, maybe a little bit more. So I want to double that and then I'll throw it on Facebook for super cheap like come and get it cheap uh, but i digress five minutes into it let's see some paper here we go first up we have dark knight 3 master race uh, this is the madness games and comics variant that is my lcs 
Uh, I just think that that's cool. Let me, let me, let me. Oh, that's better, Justin. That is better. Um, I like that one a lot. Um, I have two of those. These both came from my um, my mother-in-law. And uh, she got me this one as well. This is the Past, Present, Future Comics variant. Uh, I think she thought they were two different books. She obviously doesn't know comic books. Isn't That's not her jam. And you know what? That's fine. It was very sweet of her to pick those up. Uh, staying on the DC kick, this is uh, Justice League 10B. This is a Jim Lee, uh, Scott Williams cover from January 2016. It's a Scott Snyder story, so I'm keeping this one. Um, I just kind of like the like the cover. Nothing wrong with that cover, I think. Here, let me move Naruto over a little bit. You don't need to see my face. Nobody wants to see that. Um, this is just an old flash uh, from June of 88. Nothing special other than I just dug it. This is it's a reprint of Star Wars, but I will be keeping all Star Wars because it's Star Wars, you know? Um, okay, this one's kind of cool. This is a... Um, now we're going from DC into um, into uh, others, like not not the big two. So this one is um, IDW. This is the last run in the Lost Years. Uh, this is cover one. This is a Collector Cave variant uh, from January twenty twenty three. Uh, Kevin Eastman is the writer on this one. Uh, cover is Raymond Gay. I just think that's that's pretty rad. Uh, next, we have Department of Truth. Uh, this is the uh, John Jang variant uh, from March 2021. Uh, you got to keep all your Jangs right. And uh, that one's awesome. This one came from E-Man. <laughs> Name drop. The best hair in the business. I need, man, I wish I could get rid of that, that glare. I wish I could get, how do I get rid of that glare? Here, let's shut this. Maybe that helps a little bit. It does not help. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. Okay, here we go. Next, we have Ice Cream Man number 25. Also, John Jang variant. Everybody loves this one. August 2021. Also, from E-Man. Boom. That's a beauty. Um, shout out to Cole. From Cole's Comic Claims. Haven't seen him in a minute. I think he's uh, been busy doing life stuff but uh miss him he's a cool dude miss his shows uh this this is coins of judas um th this is band the bards uh february 2023 uh this is issue number one this one's cool because it actually has cole cole's face on there i picked these up just to uh support the community i try to do that as much as i can another coin coins of judas oh sorry this is um um ignacio de meglio de meglio uh, see him. Used to see him in chats. I haven't seen him in a long time. Uh, Coin, Coins of Judas. Uh, Stan Yak. This is another one with Stan Yak. Um, uh, issue one, and this is another variant. Uh, cover artist on this one is Tyler Carpenter. Man, those are kind of cool. Uh, this one randomly I'm going to keep. It's Rat Queens one. This is the A cover. Uh, cover artist is Rob Upchurch. I mean, nothing, nothing specifically awesome about these, uh, except it's the first team team appearance of the Rat Queens. Uh, who knows? Who knows if that'll get turned into uh, something down the line? I was like, yeah, well, let's just keep it. Why not? So Rat Queens, there you go. Okay, another random book I'm going to keep. Uh, this is another this is image. This is Rob Liefeld. Uh, it's the 1A cover august 1992 what a great year written by liefeld as well this is the first appearance of genocide uh brigade so um this one is really dirty like if this ever becomes a book somebody wants i'm gonna have to clean it but what's cool about this one is it still has the two cards on the inside they used to come with collector's cards so there's the two of them are still in the middle uh so that's kind of why i like it I think if the cards were, had been taken out, I uh, probably wouldn't be keeping this book. But, I don't know. The cards just make it extra cool for me. Uh, name drop. This came from Izzyverse. This is Wolverine Origins. This is the 1B cover. Of course, it's Marvel. June of 2006. Covers by Michael Turner and Peter Ste Steigerwald. 
uh, written by Daniel Way, penciled by Steve Dillon, and signed by Michael Turner, Steve Dillon, and Peter Steigerwald. Super awesome. Man. Absolutely. Got to keep that one right. That is bad. That's awesome. That is a cool, cool book. Next, we have Rogan Gambit. This is the Illuminati B cover. Uh, Nathan, is, I'm sorry, artist is Nathan Cizerti, uh, August 2003. Uh, written by Stephanie Phillips and art, art, art by Carlos Gomez. Is this really 2003? I'll have to double check that. I feel like that's wrong, but I'm going to double check that. Well, this is a beautiful cover. Rogue is awesome. Next, we have X-Men. Uh, this is the 1A. I have a couple of these. Of course, Jim Lee. This is uh, the first team appearance of the X-Men Gold Team, which is Storm, Archangel, Colossus, Iceman, and Jean Grey, and the first team appearance of X-Men Blue Team, Cyclops, Wolverine, Gambit, Rogue, Psylocke, and Beast, and the first appearance of the Acoly uh, Acolytes, uh, Fabian Cortez, and Anne-Marie Cortez, Chrome, Nancy Winters, and Delgato. Um, I have two of the covers. I used to have the one, the gray one that had the fold out, which was super awesome. Uh, this is, I believe, the um, is this the most published? Yeah, I don't have it written down, but I think this is the most per, uh, published book of all time. Like it's, which means it has zero value, right? <laughs> Except it's cool. It's still cool to me. Uh, title, this is, uh, well, Deadpool. Um, uh, cover, this is the number one. This is the David Nakayama variant. Uh, of course, cover art artist is David Nakayama. Published September 2024. Written by Joe Kelly, penciler Edward McGinnis. But look how cool that book is. Super rad. Nakayama. Uh, title, this is Doctor Strange. One A, is the A variant. Uh, cover artist is Chris Bach Bachlow. Uh, Marvel, published in December 2015, written by Jason Aaron, uh, art by Chris Bacho. Uh, this is the first appearance of Zelma Stanton and first appearance of the uh, Imperator, Imperator, whoever that is, Imperator. Uh, Doctor Strange, I think there's actually some spec going along with this book. I guess um, they're thinking that Zelma Stanton might show up in a movie soon, so there's a little spec from when I read. I don't know. It's not my jam. I don't know about that stuff. Uh, title, uh, Fall of House of X. This is the uh, Luminati Virgin cover. Uh, cover artist is Nathan Cizerti. Uh, Marvel, March 2024. Written by Gary Duggan. Art by Lucas Wernick. Oh, some more rogue action right there. Um, and then I liked... I mean, I just liked the all-new Wolverine when it came out. I was super pumped about it. Nothing too special about that one. I just like it. Um, what's not to like? Uh, this one is the all-new Wolverine. This is the three, the A uh, cover. Cover artist is Bengal. Uh, published February 2016. Written by Tom Taylor. Art by David Lopez and David Navarro. So the notes on this one is the second appearance of Gabby which is a clone of X-23, later renamed as to Honey Badger, and then Scout. Scout. Um, and that's... Yeah, that's it for what I've, what I've uh, logged so far. I'm really looking forward to doing uh, my Silver Age stuff uh, and my Bronze Age stuff, because I think those are really fun books, because that's what I grew up reading, so that's, that's super fun. But these are just... Just enjoyable books. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me for a little bit and uh, putting up with my name drops. And uh, that's it. Talk to y'all later. Bye. Bunch of nerds. Sorry, this is the after credit scene. Uh, since I had to pull this out and uh, update it from 2003 to 2023, uh, I was going to show you what I do. Um, on the back, What I, I, I have it everything printed out. And it just is title, cover, cover artist, publisher, published, as in the date. Uh, written by and art by and then I'll add uh, if this one had I'll have notes and I'll put whatever the special thing is about it and then uh, maybe a little different but I fold mine a little bit like that so I can go around the board and then put it with the book now the reason why I fold it around the board like that is because it holds in place and it doesn't 
flop around. So I can take my books out and it'll always be right there on the bottom. Uh, just like just like where I want where I want to be able to find them. Eyes are going right down there. So that's it. All right, thanks for the bye.